Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen at Rifa Palace. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Vice Chairman of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuemi, and the committee members were also present. During the meeting, His Royal Highness praised the role of the Bahrain Defence Force, Ministry of Interior, National Guard and National Security Agency in safeguarding the country and its citizens, which contributes significantly to the Kingdom's development in line with the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince highlighted that the sacrifices made by the fallen servicemen represent the highest expression of loyalty and devotion, and as such will never be forgotten. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the Kingdom will always strive to provide due care for their families. He noted the efforts of the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen in keeping close communication with the families of fallen servicemen in order to provide the necessary assistance and care they require. During the meeting, the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen reviewed the latest developments on the services and initiatives provided to the families of the fallen servicemen. Based on the principle of social solidarity, it has been decided to open the way for private companies and citizens to contribute to the fund's support. For this, our year flower batches will be sold in a number of locations across the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronised the concluding ceremony of the Ironman Middle East competition at Bahrain Bay, where His Royal Highness was received and greeted by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness honoured the winners of the competition across all categories, including Samir al Bita and Mohammed Issa Abdullah, for winning first place among Bahraini men and women. His Royal Highness affirmed that the King of Bahrain's success in attracting and organising regional and international events across various fields is based on a competitive spirit which Bahrainis enjoy through their aspirations to carry the Kingdom's banner to high places. His Royal Highness said that the consecutive athletic achievements, as well as hosting of various events, improved its standing internationally thanks to the keen interest and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also expressed pride and confidence in Bahraini's ability to innovate and excel. He praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad's efforts in patronising and supporting the field of youth and sports, which has been bearing fruit through athletic achievements regionally and internationally.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, the National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the follow-up of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the Ironman Championship affirms His Majesty's keenness to enhance the sports sector in the kingdom and enhance his status on the world map. He added that His Majesty's attendance and crowning of the winners is the real success of the competition. His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom Sports Movement is moving in line with His Majesty's directives and vision, which made Bahrain achieve numerous accomplishments in the Gold Age and raise its status on a global level. His Highness then expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for attending the concluding ceremony and crowning the winners, which reflects the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Highness said that the Kingdom is now attracting sports events and made a number of achievements in this regard expressing confidence in the championship and the organising committee in ensuring the success of the event. He praised the wide participation in the competition, which reflects the country's competitive spirit, as well as the participation of people from various countries. His Highness hailed the exerted efforts and praised the Bahraini capabilities in organising such a high-profile event. He also expressed appreciation to the role of the companies, institutions and government bodies in ensuring the success of the Ironman Championship. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for honouring the winners of the Ironman Middle East competition. <laughs> والله العظيم ان اللي يحتاج جرعه منشط اعتقد انه بس يشوف جلاله الملك الحقيقه اعطتني قوه واعطتني معنويه خلتني اليوم ادي اسرع سباق اديته في تاريخ المشاركات ما تعليقك على الارقام اللي حققتهم في سباق اليوم دقيقتين من الرقم العالمي يعني أكون صريح معاك أنت تحلم لا تحقق العلم يا ما تحقق العلم الفرق في أنك كيف أنك أنت ترك أنا كنت أبي أحقق بطولة العالم كنت أبي أحقق الرقم القياسي لكن الله ما الله وفق اليوم لأن الأجواء شوي كانت صعبة الهواء كان أقوى من العام فأنا خسرت دقيقتين بس من الرقم القياسي إذا أقول لك الرقم القياسي معناته أنا أوصل مرحلة ما أوصلها أي بشر وهالمرحلة هذه يعني ما ما توفقت فيها بسبة الجو لكن دقيقتين يعني إن شاء الله الأرقام معناته أنها رقم طيبة الرقم هذا راح أكسره بقى هالرقم ولما بقى راح ينكسر طبعا ما في خلاف ان ناصر بن حمد كان على وشك طالما وصلت الى مرحله تحطيم الرقم معناته القادم اقوى هل هل معناته ان اصرار سمو الشيخ ناصر راح يستمر الى ان يحقق هذا الرقم؟ ما في شك انا حلمت اني افوز في بطوله العالم وفزت في بطوله العالم في كونا في هواي فمعناته اصريت الحين على بطوله او الرقم القياسي هذا شيء مو طول عمرك هل ركز على السباحه واثر عليك في الدراجات؟ نعم اكيد ياثر بس الهواء هو اللي اثر عليك الهواء كان اقوى من اللازم فحسبتي كانت صحيحه الارقام اللي انا حطيتها على السيكل بالضبط مثل ما انا تدربت عليه لكن سرعه الرياح خفت من سرعتي شوي كنت تخوف طويل العمر من قبل بان بيكون في هواء يوم السباق بياثر عليك يعني هذا اقرا الارصاد صحيحه الارصاد كانت طويل العمر التوسع مشاركه البحرينيين ما تعليقك على هالمشروع؟ الحمد لله على كل حال انا فخور بهم وهذه ثمار الحصاد اللي حصدناه في الفكر والفهم والثقافه في البحرين. وين الوعد ان شاء الله طويل العمر؟ ان تشوفنا ان شاء الله مثل ما نوعد كل بحريني وبحرينيه. البحرين دائما في العالي. اليوم احنا كمسؤولين عن الرياضه بنوصل البحرين للقمم العالميه ما في شك. واللي مساعدينا على هذا الشيء هو مو بشغل فردي ولا هو بالفريق اللي معاه هو البحرينيين والبحرينيات. عزمهم وصرارهم يسهل علينا المهم the Bahrain Center for Strategic, International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, will celebrate its 10th anniversary on December the 14th under the patronage of the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. 
Bahraini officials, Arab and international diplomats, the media and representatives of a number of regional think tanks coinciding with the National Day celebrations in the Kingdom will attend. Celebrations will be held under the theme From Vision to Reality, set to include a demonstration of a decade's achievement, including conferences, publications, seminars and survey polls in the reign of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty's Comprehensive Reform Programme and Bahrain's 2030 Economic Vision. Board of Trustees Chairman Dr Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for the Minister of the Royal Court's patronage of the anniversary celebration, which he says honours the centre and its staff. He affirmed the centre is committed to remaining a strategic partner to several national institutions through research, opinion polls and field studies with the objective of serving academics as well as policy makers. Sheikh Abdullah concluded his statement by commending Dearsat's team of researchers, administrators and affiliates for the cooperation and perseverance, asserting that Dearsat has the confidence, will and aspiration to continue its pursuit of leadership and achievements. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, opened the 12th official Bahrain International Property Exhibition and Forum, BIPEX, which is organised by the Bahrain Society of Engineers at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre from December the 7th to the 19th. The opening ceremony was attended by ministers, officials and various invitees. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that the real estate market in Bahrain remains an attractive destination for investment that is expected to account to 5 to 6% of next year's gross domestic product. He added that the indicators remain positive in this market and that it represents one of the most important 10 non-oil sectors in the economy. He said that this reflects the keen interest and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier said that BIPEX reflects the activity in the real estate market and expressed thanks and appreciation for the role of the organisers and the companies participating in the exhibition for supporting the sector of the economy which, he says, enjoys a solid legislative foundation and a transparent regulatory environment. Sheikh Khalid added that the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure is keenly following the movement of the market through the Bayanat system, which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince established in 2018, which has since earned Bahrain a positive assessment by the World Bank. On the market's activities, the Deputy Premier said that there is a clear increase in the issuance of the number of building permits, which reflects well on the well-being of the market.
As Bahrain's leading property exhibition, Bipex holds a significant spot in the kingdom's real estate industry calendar of events. It serves as a bellwether for the industry and an unmissable business platform for local and regional exhibitors in the real estate sector to showcase their projects for both visitors and investors. Bybix has been very uh, dynamic uh, with the local uh, market, with the changing market, uh, with the new requirements, new building construction, uh, and so forth. We are so desperate for such a specialized uh, uh, exhibitions, uh, especially now uh, there is a great momentum uh, in the uh, uh, developers, uh, developers that are uh, targeting uh, citizens or beneficiaries that are on the national waiting list. So um, I hope um, and I definitely look forward to see uh, that this exhibition offers even yet a bigger variety for, for the citizens. The three-day event highlights innovation and digital solutions for the real estate sector in the MENA region in addition to recent macroeconomic global developments and industry trends. We participate every year in BIPEX. It's one of the very important uh, exhibition for us. This year we have uh, showed what we have did all this years back as projects for delivery. And also for next year, hopefully we have a new projects which we're going to put it in the Pipex 2020. It's emphasizing the importance of real estate sector in Bahrain, which is the most important sector. And it contributes a big part to the GDP of Bahrain. And it definitely uh, reinforces the confidence of investors as well as consumers into the real estate sector of Bahrain and uh, gives various options for the consumer to really uh, look into his needs as well as uh, basically uh, fulfills his requirement when it comes to a real estate product. The 12th edition of Bipex promotes the region's major infrastructures and real estate properties. Moreover, brings together experts from all fields of the real estate industry, including development, distribution and investment to exchange expertise and views on the current state and future of the real estate market in the region. BIPEX 2019 gathers real estate exhibitors from Bahrain and the region not only to share their latest projects and inventions but also to discuss the latest transformations of the real estate market in the GCC. Heba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The Shura Council held its meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Asale, where it approved the recommendation of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on reconsidering a pros of law on adding a definition to a decree by law regarding commercial registration. It also approved the recommendation of the Women and Child Affairs Committee on rejecting the amendment of a draft law replacing Article 60 in Child Law. President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, received Grand Mufti of Central Religious Administration of Russia Muslims, Thalgat the Juden. Sheikh Abdurrahman praised the generous hospitality during his visit to the Republic of Bashkortostan, affirming the kind relationship between the SCIA and other Islamic associations around the world, including the Islamic associations in Russia. The Grand Mufti expressed his appreciation for the Kingdom's efforts in highlighting the principles of tolerance and peace under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, conveying his hopes in strengthening the relations between the SCIA and the Central Spiritual Administration of Muslims of Russia to serve Islam and promote the Islamic morals. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning opened the lighting in the southern region municipality on the main streets as part of the Kingdom's celebrations of the National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne in the presence of the Ministry of Municipality Affairs Undersecretary Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the Ministry of Works and Affairs Undersecretary Ahmed Al Kayath. The lighting started from the Crown Princess Avenue and went on for three kilometres, including tree decorations, in addition to decorating the entrance to Isa Town, from the gate to the roundabout overlooking the municipality building of the southern region. 
under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince during the Government Forum 2019 regarding the start of the implementation of the East Citra project, the Ministry of Housing signed project implementation contracts with China Machinery Engineering Corporation, CMEC, with the Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hama, and the Vice President of CMEC, Fang Changshui, signed the contracts. The Minister noted that the East Citra project is one of the major projects the Ministry has included to implement His Majesty the King's order to build 40,000 housing units and also falls within the framework of providing 25,000 housing units stipulated in the current government programme. He also highlighted the government's support headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince through prioritising housing affairs and overcoming challenges to ensure its success. Alhamar expressed appreciation to the efforts of the Economic Development Board in attracting companies and supporting the Ministry's efforts to provide citizens with housing services and projects. The Housing Minister expressed pleasure in cooperating with the Chinese company in implementing the Citra housing project to benefit from the Chinese expertise in site management and implementing units and infrastructure. For his part, the Vice President of CMEC expressed the company's pride in cooperating with the Kingdom and thanks and appreciation to the Bahraini government for its cooperation during the negotiation stage to implement the project. He stressed that this cooperation is a favourable opportunity for them to participate in Bahrain's development march. In light of the events accompanying Bahraini Women's Day, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Hala Al Ansari, inaugurated Bahraini Women for Creativity and Innovation Exhibition, organised by the SCW in cooperation with the United Nations Industrial Development Organisation, UNIDO. Al Ansari toured the exhibition, listening to a detailed explanation on each project and its capacity for growth through innovation. She affirmed that organising the exhibition comes in light of the Council's efforts aimed at increasing the presence of Bahraini women in the march of digital transformation of the Kingdom in light of the Royal Directives. She asserted that the Council will continue in the future to work with various partners in the public, private and civil sectors to increase the outcomes of this year's Bahraini Women's Day. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs made a statement in which it welcomed the announcement by the United States and Sudan to initiate the process of exchanging ambassadors as a positive and important step, which reflects the common desire to develop bilateral relations. The Ministry said it regarded the move as the beginning of the removal of Sudan from the list of countries that sponsor terrorism and the reconsideration of the economic sanctions imposed on it, which will contribute to the achievement of the aspiration of the Sudanese people for development, progress and prosperity. The chairman of the organising committee for the 10th National Day celebration for beauty horses, Khaled Ahmed, affirmed that the Open National Competition complements the National Day's competition, which is being carried out following the directives of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Khaled Ahmed said that the committee is keen on offering opportunities for those who raise Arab horses in Bahrain and said that the competition witnessed 30 competitors of the highest international standing. He praised the support of the sponsoring companies and institutions and thanks the national media for covering the event, especially those at the Ministry of International Affairs through its live coverage on Bahrain television. Under the patronage of the capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the seventh Social Media Masters Forum was held yesterday, organised by the Social Media Club tackling emerging opportunities and threats in the field of social media. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The capital governor patronizes the 7th edition of the Social Media Masters Forum, organized by the Social Media Club, aiming year after year to provide a platform for Bahraini youth to interact with social media experts and exchange views regarding the latest developments and to learn how to capitalize on them. Social media is revolving every day. Every day new trends, new applications, new rules, new uh, systems. It is important to uh, express these experiments, uh, explain it to our uh, members, uh, the social media community in Bahrain, to understand and learn the latest technologies and the latest application trends. How to use it, when to use it, how to create the content, what are the strategies. The average human spends 5.5 hours a day on their, on their cell phone. So what they're doing, they're looking on social media, they're either on Snapchat, they're either on Twitter, they're either on, on Instagram. What they're doing, they're consuming content. So today we, we heard an, an, another talk where they said 97% of people consume content and only 4% of the world create it. 
So why not join these other 4% and just create content? And the forum included lectures and workshops by experts in digital media, e-commerce, marketing and law, with the participation of special guests from Saudi Arabia and Jordan, in the presence of more than 100 participants from the Social Media Club and those interested to learn about social media as a business platform. I talked today about uh, how to protect yourself in social media. We use social media in our daily life 24-7. Um, uh, that's for me. We use it for the news, we use it for the weather, we use it to uh, greet our friends. So it's very good to know uh, what's your right and what can be used against you. It is good to attend such events because you get to know what's uh, new out there and you get to network with fellow uh, people from the same sphere. Uh, today I learned a few things from different aspects of social media. Uh, for example, I learned about the, the legal aspect of it. I learned about uh, the uh, uh, personal branding and building your uh, online identity from it. Participants were trained on how to develop and utilize emerging job opportunities in the field of social media and invest in the era of internet and social communication, which has allowed tremendous growth potential for individuals and companies without the need for major investments. It highlights emerging opportunities for Bahraini entrepreneurs to lead new markets in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030.